Okay guys, welcome back to Jay's Strategies where we bring you the latest and greatest crypto news and much, much more. We're going to be starting up and hyping up and pepping up the stream. We're going to talk some Bitcoin, we're going to talk some, um, you know, cryptocurrency, altcoins and everything to the moon. Okay, and um, we're just going to drop this link. Here is live crypto news. Okay. All right, just drop that for a few people if they want to stop in here. Okay, so we're going to talk about the charts over here. We're going to talk about Bitcoin. We're going to talk about Ethereum. And uh, we're going to go hop over to uh, Twitter, and we're going to talk about a bunch of different things on Twitter. Don't forget to stop by my J Strategies Twitter. And, um, you know, I, I did ask the question. I said, would you guys rather hold XRP or ADA? Right now it's at a different balance, okay? Everybody's... It helps when you subscribe to the channel. Hit the likes for that. Guys, show me the love and support. I will continue to teach you. I'm going to be doing a lot more how-to videos. And then also, <clears throat> shout out to Piggy Innu. I did a chart update. It was definitely bullish on the support line and breaking out and having a nice trend as of today, the 30th of June. So that's definitely a smash and go. Let's get this, guys. And also, don't forget to stop by and shill your gems because we look for the best projects to ape into. And then we can actually go and do it on our live streams. My live um, YouTube is always at J Strategies, and you can see that we have all of our different videos here. Yield farming, very big into Baby Swap. I'm going to be doing new videos soon coming for Baby Swap, so that way we can learn a bunch more. Okay, let's hop into today's overall cryptocurrency market cap is at 860 billion dollars with a 69 billion dollar volume volumes kind of low actually um if you ask me <laughs> bitcoin at 19,129 down about 5% ethereum at 1032 down 7% usdt 66 billion dollar market cap 50 billion dollars in volume usd coin 55 billion market cap 5 billion in volume BNB at 212 down 3%, 34 billion dollar volume. And uh, this is a good one. I've been accumulating BNB when we've been hitting the $200 level. And you can see now that BUSD now has $17,000 locked into it xrp at 31 cents that's still our accumulation zone we've been fluctuating around this area just waiting for the next pop-up on bitcoin i'm more into xrp but that's why i asked that question on um twitter i want to see what your guys opinion is when it comes to the XRP and Cardano, should I start buying into Cardano? I do hold Solano. Solano is down 8% today, 14 on the 7 day. So Solano has been uh, seeing some downward pressure. But hey, that's fine. Um, now that they know what their network errors are, they can they can uh, recover. You know, These are going to be some of the top coins that will survive through the bear market. As you see, a lot of those altcoins... Going down 95%. Okay. Dogecoin still at number 10. Dogecoin went to 4 cents, went to 7, back to 6. And look at this. That's a balanced out. And we have an $8.6 billion market cap for Dogecoin. Okay. Let's talk about the charts because I know that's why you guys are here. So I'm on the 30 minute chart. When we pull below this 50 on the 30, the one hour, this is what I watch for because consistently over time, we always come back to the moving averages. So on the one hour, we now have a nice long spread in between here. We wicked out. We hit 18,750. Okay. And my play, if the SMP at three o'clock has some bullish upside action we could make it back to this daily open of 20k so that would be a good play now if i was going to do that play i would put my stop loss below the m0 zone but we're already below that 
So a stop loss of 18,500 because they haven't hit that half number with a take profit at that 20k even. That would be a trade to take. I'm actually going to take that trade on Femex. So my entry price is going to be I'm actually going to do yes, I'm going to I would do an entry price right now at 191, okay? My stop loss is going to be at um, 18, yeah, 18, yeah, 18.5. And my take profit is going to be 19,998. <laughs> so that's how I'm going to work a little trade right there. I'll, and we'll let you guys know how that works. But Bitcoin charts overall, okay, four hour on the Bitcoin chart. So we can get a bigger picture. Look at this. We're condensing now. After these big pull downs, okay, we're starting to find some ranges. So you see how we had these vectors? We came back and recovered these vectors. What's next for Bitcoin? These pivot zone levels, okay? So you see we got our M0 pivot zone. We're well below it. And our M5 pivot zone at the 20,800. So that is the volatility window that they would be trading at as market makers. This is the hybrid strategy, guys. And uh, if you've been following along, you should have a gist of what's, uh, you know, what's to come. Okay. So we're going to hop into... Okay, so shout out to that. So that's what that's the outlook on um, what we're looking at Bitcoin. Then let's go to the overall daily chart on Bitcoin, and we hit that seventeen. It looks like we came right back almost to the bottom of that vector that that candle body right here, which was at the eighteen point nine five. So if you're taking a trade on a longer term this 19.1 right now would be an entry with a take profit of coming up to that moving average of 26,000 so if bitcoin does have some good reversals and we can pull a trend after all this news we're going to be looking for that $27,000 bitcoin but as of right now bitcoin can actually fall another leg down possibly into the 1600 level here because if you see this top right here at, at the 19 if you see this next little bottom swing low 17 and then this swing low bottom there is 163 so to the downside from here from 1900 would be 16,300 to the downside. So calling to the downside. But from what I'm seeing, okay, is now the S&P looks like they're trying to pick themselves back up. Um, there's a bunch of different gaps. You know, there's a lot of stuff happening in the market. Let's go ahead and take a look at um, where the oil is now and the different... Ha okay, so they're pulling back on that. The DXY is hitting at the 104. Uh, so, you know, that's a 4.8% uh, appreciation on the D, uh, the U.S. dollar. Um, when that starts to come back down, uh, that would definitely give people the um, time to buy into riskier assets because they consider that a safe haven. And then if we go take a look at the patterns that are happening in gold right now, Okay, um, after the spikes in gold, it looks like so many people may people have been selling off maybe some gold and getting ready to have some tether and stuff on the sidelines to hit some of these assets hard. Let's go look at Ethereum. We're going to look at Ethereum as over a whole, and we can see that we did hit these levels. Um, we're actually mid-range from these vectors. The sad thing is, is 
the $750 level would be the next drop down for Ethereum if there is more liquidations that triggered in the market. Now, if we go here and show you something, crypto news, you could just type it just like that, right? And it will show you second quarter leaves uh, report uh, eh, why the crypto crash is different crypto bankers would have to follow bank rules so there's so many it used to only be like little news uh, stupid meme coins now these are some real world issues they're talking about cross-border payments and integrating it into the financial systems you know what I mean crypto is not going anywhere crypto has just started and Bitcoin is gonna get itself weaved into so much of all these different financial markets it is gonna be awesome and if you're buying Bitcoin below 20k right now you're an og <laughs> smash that like man subscribe to the channel we love you guys we want to bring more information out to you guys you know we want to bring more news we want to you know do a bunch of different stuff if you hop on my twitter i will drop the articles drop the news etc let's go to binance you know binance is one of my favorite ones and when we hit the 200 i start accumulating binance so today i accumulated binance right now at these levels of 211 and i accumulated bitcoin at that 18k dip so that's what we accumulated today on um, Binance and uh, BNB. And I was going to look and see if there's any wick to the 30 cent for XRP. But um, I missed, uh, missed my window. But if we do, I will uh, go into that. And if you guys have anything you want to talk about, you could drop it in the comments below. I use Femex when I trade. So in the description below of the video, and I'll also pin it, you can go ahead ahead and look to my videos and when you go to my videos you can see that down here okay all you have to do is just go click and you get the bonus and you get a premium seven day trial uh, on top of your bonus so if you didn't click my link you would only get a hundred dollar bonus and you would get 10 percent off taker fees so definitely uh take advantage of that as far as uh trading you know what i'm saying guys um and then as these targets that we talk about uh, that's what we're uh, going for more don't forget to stop by the youtube shorts it's always um fun with you guys and uh let's see where are we at now we are at let me see connecting crypto and let's go ahead and take a look at some uh more of this crypto new stuff happening and we are going to actually put out my video here so that way we can push it out to the public drop it on my twitter i'm gonna drop uh, our links on our twitter so that way i can share the video so people can actually get in here and we are going to actually all right so Let's do that. What can we say? What can we say? Let's get rid of that right there. And then let's get rid of that right there. And then this. Oh, it would have to still be like that, right? NFT, BSV, Crypto News, Joe, XRP. And then that doesn't really have that much. Okay, the latest and greatest. Yeah, okay. And then we can just drop it like that. All right, guys. So I just dropped a new tweet. You guys can see it. Just hop on over here and uh, smash the like. This is our video today. We are rocking out. We love you guys. So let's hop back into the charts. So across these uh, platforms that we have here, let me just go ahead and... Uh, Grab some uh, 
get this video out there, yeah, uh, get this video out there so we can just get some uh, more people just to swing by, stop by, whatever, you know, do their thing here. So that would be uh, definitely a good thing for us. Um, let me go ahead and drop those hashtags in it, and we can take you guys to the moon, baby. To the moon, baby. Okay. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that guys, I just had to make sure that we uh, had some uh, stuff happening here. Okay, so we have two, we have two out here, less than two, two watching, okay. And then we can just press that across the sharing here, what would that be, sharing, sharing uh, with this, I don't know. We'll just tweet it and share it, whatever. Latest and greatest. Okay, guys. Alright, so let's go ahead, Crypto News, and then let's go ahead and go to. Uh... Oh no, let's go to Coin Glass. Let's go to Coin Glass. Okay, so we're on coin glass, and uh, we are going to take a look at coin glass. We're going to drop uh, this today's crypto news. Let me just go here. liquidations here okay so we have right now it is home across the board it is showing everybody is going short when that happens guys what happens to the market everybody's going short let's go ahead and monitor Bitcoin Bitcoin bouncing right back to that 13,000 let's look at the 30 minute time frame and let me go ahead and pull that out and spread that out and let's go ahead and watch and see what they have as a attack method let's actually go down to the five minute time frame and really see what they have cooking here as far as where are they going to pull the price are they going to take this price from here from this moving average on the five minute chart if we're trying to try make a quick scalp trade are they going to short it back down here to the 18.7? Okay. Or are we going to pop up to the M0 at the 19.390? Okay. So those are two different um, ways that could be set. Let's go ahead and look through Coin Glass. And uh, we can see here. I actually am going to uh, let me load this up over here. So if I have any comments for you guys, uh, huh. 
Let me see. That will it show? Okay, so I just open, I'm gonna open up this browser and I'm going to uh, go here and then we go here and then out of here and let's go into our video. Okay, <laughs> and then that way I can answer if you guys. I'll be able to see anything. So let me go. Hey guys, any meme or alt? Let me know, and we will take a look. Any alt, and we will take a look. Okay, so. We are right now into liquidation. So these are all the different liquidations. So right now, as you see, the, the market's mo mostly in liquidation. Let's go see what open interest is. Open interest on futures. Let's go see what the open interest is looking like here. It's in the plus. So people are opening up positions into um, the market because the market's at <laughs> below the $20,000. And that's when the frenzy starts and people start popping in. Let's go ahead and look at the grayscale. Um, go ahead and take a look at grayscale and see what they have total holdings and uh, hold, uh, holdings per share, market per share. And let's see, we want their rates and mana. They're actually in profit on that. So they're, they're, they're getting some good balance here. Funding rate. The funding rates, current funding rates, okay, we want to see across here, funding rates are in a positive, so there is some good cash flow happening right now, which is pretty damn awesome. Looking back at the 5-minute Bitcoin chart, I want to see what they're going to do within these next 5-minute candlesticks. So we just started this 5-minute candlestick right here, and by starting this 5-minute candlestick, we are gonna see what's gonna happen from there crypto news let's see what we have today in the crypto news um, crypto traders would follow rules okay Bitcoin falls below we hear that all the time and uh, let's see crypto exchanges for FTX passes deal to buy out Celsius due to decent def def oh wow so interesting. So they want to buy out that platform. What happens if, the, if a crypto platform goes bankrupt? Well, if you have your funds on a crypto platform, not your funds if it's if you don't have your keys, you know? So like I told you in my strategy, guys, is I use yield farming, okay? And I take, I, like once a week, I harvest my farms, I transfer it into USDT, send it to the exchange, and I accumulate Bitcoin. And then at the end of the month, I send my Bitcoin to my cold wallet, and then continue on from there. And if you need to actually use your Bitcoin... You can use some of these apps where you have credit cards where you can send your Bitcoin to your app and then just swipe your card and use it like BlockFi and Cash App. Cash App's awesome, guys. It's definitely uh, something that is going to take over the to the whole payment system of how, you know, how, how it works in the crypto world. You know what I mean? So um, that's that. Let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we got. What other topics we have here. I want to show you guys. Actually, there's some really bullish meme projects right now out there. I've been actually uh, doing a lot of posting for them and rocking out. Let's see what we have here. It's Piggy Inu. And... Uh, <laughs> Okay, Piggy Inu live, and you can see inside their chat, and uh, there's definitely a bunch of uh, yeah. Look at that; they got sick. They they got over the 500 votes, and uh, that was definitely bullish. 
and right now, ch take a look at that. The, the chart is definitely uh, bullish. Let me go ahead and show you the chart. And you can also see my post. Okay, but, you know, look at this in the past 15 minutes, you know. Uh, nice, nice, good volume coming in for uh, Piggy. Let's go for a longer term. Let's go ahead and hit that one hour and just show you still, even on a one hour, um, we have some nice volume coming in for Piggy. Piggy Inu is registered as a uh, company now. I'm seeing this way through up over a million dollar market cap. And they have all kinds of stuff coming out for it and merch. Man, I think that this is going to be one of those meme coins that's going to hit it. So, you know, I've been doing some accumulation myself. And I'm just waiting for the staking. And I'm going to drop it into the staking. And um, you can see. Let me go ahead and just look at their website piggy Inu, and you can see we go here we go here ha 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 i love it yeah yeah piggy Inu, and then this is their website it's um simple that has the piggy oink club uh, there's some really big partnerships coming up, so, you know, be ready for that because that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, some pretty big partnerships and guys, you know, we're just trying to bring you guys some of the latest and greatest crypto and much, much more. Let's go through some of these, um, price analysis. This is from the 27th. Let's go ahead and take a look at some new Bitcoin news here. Grayscale's legal challenge to SEC sparks response from community. This is awesome. So what I want to do is make some noise. Make some and oh, uh, oh wait. <laughs> Bitcoin. Make some noise. Bitcoin. And then what I want to do real quick is. Oh, I want to grab my tags. Where are my tags? Yeah. Hashtags. Let me just grab my tags for this. And we are going to... We are going to tag it like this. I guess. Copy. Whatever. <laughs> oh, and where, where were we? Oh, yep. Let's do this. And then let's get rid of some of these crazy memes. And... Get rid of some of these other crazy memes. <laughs> and uh, what do we got? What do we got? And we're good to go. Make some noise. Let's just uh, separate that and tweet it. Yeah, that's definitely a good article to uh, read, guys. So that's why I just dropped that. Um, grayscale Bitcoin. Okay. that Them holding Bitcoin if they turn into a spot ETF, that is going to be so great for the long term, you know, pressure for the this videos. You know what I mean for uh, for Bitcoin. You know, this is going to be like <laughs> this is going to be constantly when people buy into the stock market and they buy into their. Um, you know the bit Bitcoin fund, then they would be buying Bitcoin directly, which is amazing because that would always forever increase the price of uh, Bitcoin as more and more people are using it for retirement. So, you know, it's definitely some really cool stuff happening, and uh, I think there's some really good news on that. Let's go ahead and take a look on Cardano. And, uh, well, I mean, uh, coin market cap, and let's take a look and see something here. Let's go to trending, and let's see what's trending, okay? You got Harmony One, you got Prometheus Prom. I don't want to talk too much about them. Matic, okay? I want to actually buy more into Matic. Um, it could be a good level. Actually, let's go ahead and take a look at Matic. Let's go ahead, take a look at Matic, and see what we see here. Guys, I can also tell you about stocks, too. 
you know, like I'm showing you right now, Amazon at 106 after hitting Amazon at that $100 mark. Now it's up to 106 so it's up $6 on each uh, $100 share. So, you, you know, do you, you got to do the math, Google. Google, okay, definitely coming back up in after hitting these bottoms. So we're starting to gain some momentum back in the market, but where we need it is in the S&P. Okay, Tesla, definitely some bullish moves today. So I see a lot of bullish moves across the market. But uh, we need those bullish overall XRP market cap. You see how we're at this level now. I think we're going to break out. And once we hit over the 15.3 billion, we are definitely heading back for a daily open of 15, you know, damn near 16 billion. Because XRP, man, the Ripple network itself has been integrated into so many different platforms for cross border payments and much, much more. Just wait and see, guys. They're setting this up for long term. So they're setting these networks up. Because not just to use them for the next day, <laughs> for the next week, these networks need to operate for the next 50 to 100 years. Just like the cycle we were in for like gold and stuff like that, you know, so they need to create systems that, you know, cycle through, basically. Um, let's go ahead and let's raid our video some more, actually. Um, let me go here and uh, let me see if I can just grab this. I'll grab that and then let me go like this real quick. I'm going to get us a, a nice little raid tweet <laughs> and we're going to go drop our, our video um, with all the raids. Okay, here it is, the latest and greatest. And then we're going to copy this and then we paste that like that. And then we go like this, and then we copy, and then we get out of that, and then what we're going to do is, oh, no, we can just leave it because it's going to be on, oh, no, we'll get out of it, disregard, and let's go here to home, and let's drop, let's drop our, uh, let's drop our video. In some of these uh, top top places, so they can ha we can we can get some people in. <laughs> we can get some people flying in for us and and rocking out. Uh, let's see who else do we got here? We got some we got some cool people that we talk with, man. We got some cool guys that we rock out, and you know, there's a lot of different all and and crypto gems, and you know everybody out there man just love the support i love uh <laughs> i love teaching people man i love showing you guys so if there's anything that you guys want to learn or, or anything you could type it into the chat and i will teach you and i'm going to do how-to videos on more of the different staking uh platforms and how to stake and how to use them and uh etc so i want to make some nice videos um, as far as that goes, so that would be really, really uh, cool for you guys. So now that I just, you know, I just went through and just did a bunch of shills, just shilling out the video out there, just, you know, just getting the news out. And, uh, yeah, okay, so let's see. Grayscale Community Challenges Spark from acquisition from the SEC, suppressing the Bitcoin. Okay, so um, Grayscale had applied to have an ETF, right? So they were denied. So now they're suing. Why deny us? Why deny us? You know, this is going to be the pivotal point for Bitcoin, baby. You know, so they got to come up with answers and answers quick. Okay, let's go to price indexes. Let's see what we have here. I don't know why I just went back to that. <laughs> Price indice. There we go. And then it's going to show us here Bitcoin and, and uh, Binance, Solana, Ripple. And these are, uh, I like to use this as a, uh, a thumbnail also for the day. Um, I want to actually. Uh, 
All right, and then if I go like that, I can save this, and I can save it at 6.31. Wait, wait. <laughs> And then what we'll do is, I can make the thumb, I'm just going to make a nice thumbnail for the video, uh, so people can see it, that would be awesome. Alright, so let's see, uh, markets, markets news, okay, let's do top 10 cryptocurrencies, price analysis on 629, so let's go through this, okay. Let's head through what they think is happening. Several analysts expect Bitcoin to continue to fall, eventually bottom out between 10,000 to 12,000. Okay? So, because of that, said the monthly charges that Bitcoin has reached a point to the bottom. Okay, Bitcoin. Bitcoin turned down from 22,000 on June 26th and has gradually slipped to the immediate support at 19,637. This suggests the bears are in command and uh, the rallies are being sold. So that's what this is showing us here. It's showing us, okay, so look, we have this crossover, the red's on top, it's keeping us down to pressure. We want, um, you know, in, in, in easy terms, we want the EMA, okay, on top of the MA. Alright, when the, when the MA is on top of it, you see what happens, okay? So this is just giving you a general idea of that Ethereum rally, okay? Turned down from the 20 day EMA at 12.68 on the 26th. Okay, a break below the support, and the next support is 681. Hey, that's just like we said just before in our uh, analysis on Ethereum. I want to see this BNB, what they say. The buyers fulfill, fail to push and sustain a BNB above the 200 day expensive moving average so yeah we didn't push above that 237 so we need bnb to push above that 237 i got belief in you bnb the 20 moving averages turned down now our xrp xrp slipped below the breakout level of 35 on june which suggests that bears to continue to sell aggressively at higher levels. So when they see a stupid little spike, then they just sell. It's it's ridiculous, you know, to have that happen. And here goes your Cardano. And it looks like, okay, so we could actually be seeing a flat line and possible some upward movement on Cardano. I'm also a Solano holder, and it looks like we might be coming to the end of a sell-off. I'm going to watch this for a little bit more, and I'm going to wait for some, um, you know, I'm going to wait for the EMA to move over the MA, and then that's going to give me some bullish times to buy in. I'm going to use a bunch of other indicators, too. We have Doge sitting right here. Remember what I said right there when we hit that Doge? And it was, you know, May at uh, 14 cents and then we dropped down to what was it like nine or ten cents and then we we saw that continuous you know uh, uh going down look at this man we, we're starting to have some pickup with the market so it looks like the market's trying to pump itself into some life dot is something i'm actually going to start getting into i'm going to start um researching and doing a lot of more stuff on dot and uh we're going to do a bunch of different passive income streams and a bunch of different uh uh, learning so that way we can do much more on this stream okay Shiba okay now look at this now Shiba Inu okay is about to cross over exponential moving average so but 
its RSI is at mid. So if I saw the ISR RSI down lower at this point, then I would be buying. But I want to wait more for the IR, uh, RSI to be down towards a lower range before I do any buys on this. So I would hold at the moment. Um, it is t a token that I'm probably going to accumulate a little bit just to hold to see what's going on. But right now, with this bear market, I need passive income like baby spot, you know, and... Piggy Inu is going to have their staking. And then let, if I show you baby swap dot IO, very easy. Okay. And the interest rates are awesome. And you can, there's lottery going on. There's so much more. Okay. Staking. There's the farms, the pools, the vaults. The farms have excellent. There's so many different things that you can do here. I want to make a full video talking about each different section and each different thing on baby swap because there's so many different things that you can use to earn uh so if you guys want to hear more about baby swap ape swap pancake swap drop the comments let me know and i will get you the info you need uh these aprs are definitely nice uh aprs um we're looking for high aprs they have their key token their milk token and uh you can also see the earn altcoin okay and let's see, hold on, earn all, earn baby, new farms, and then we hit vaults, and the vaults are going to be, there you go, there you go, live, and uh, basically you stake the token plus that, and then you earn the token, you know, so like for instance, M Oceans BNB has a really high <laughs> right now, and uh, you know, there's a lot of different ways to earn, earn there. Pulls are really cool. I like the, the baby automatic pulls because that's 50%, you know. So even on a 1,000, you still make 0.12 on a 1,000. So it's not that bad at all, okay. On a 30 days, you know, the 3.64%. Not too bad on a thousand. You're still making thirty to fifty bucks for every thousand that you hold for automatic, baby. That's definitely an awesome passive income source, and uh, that's why I choose it. I have the NFT still. I actually put one of my first ever babies up um, that I got over a year ago. I, I picked up a bunch of them, but I only put one of them up for sale. And I'm going to see what happens. And if I do sell that, I'm going to stake that back into my baby pool with baby B&B. &B. So that's going to be a strategy that I'm going to use um, in that regard. Okay. I know you guys want to hear more about the markets. We pretty much went through everything in the markets. Um, don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoy the content. The support is greatly appreciated i love showing you guys these things i love talking to you guys i love interacting with you guys and you guys make my day don't forget to stop by jay's strategies at trades for radio hit me up on youtube subscribe to the channel and until the next time guys the latest and a great